Welcome back to my channel, to both you and myself. I wanted to do a super, super quick video about my experience with the Coach Swing Zip. It is March, it is spring 2024, and Coach um, announced that they were bringing back the Swing Zip for a second go around. Yes, it went viral sometime last year. I wasn't into handbags around that time, but I came into contact on the internet with the Swing Zip, not knowing who made it, not knowing what it was called, it was the black one and somebody's wearing like a black hat whatever picture i saw the coach has now brought it back around and said you know what guess what we're going to bring it back this spring you're going to get it in these colors which is like hunter green white black i'm not sure what else just a couple of days ago they started a countdown for it to come but before i knew all of this information I found out what the bag was called. An essay in one of the Facebook groups um, actually posted, you know, this is what we have left in store. We have a couple of swing zips and this and that. Um, if anybody's interested in the pistachio green, she posted pictures. And in those pictures, I knew all the names of the bag, except for that pistachio green one. I was like, oh, that must be the swing zip. I love pistachio green. Okay, so I was about to hit a run. I entered swing zip into Google and I saw like a bubblegum pink one come up on Amazon. So I clicked on that and I started reading the details about it. Looked on YouTube and saw different reviews on the swing zip. And I was like, you know what? I think I might want to try that bag out. So not too long ago, maybe like three weeks ago, I saw the bubblegum pink one still on Amazon. I was like, you know, I, I wouldn't mind trying that color. You know, like I have like a nice little pop of color for the summer, you know what I mean? That bag arrived. I paid $3.95 for that bag. After tax, $423. It was a return bag. Um, I think I still have footage of me unwrapping it. I was so disappointed. All the tags were detached. Um, the handles of the bag were kind of like wonky. They weren't sitting right on my shoulder at all. Like the bag itself, the east west of the bag, like the entire silhouette of the bag that drew me into it. I saw it on Brand Brand's channel too. He does really great reviews because he, he works for Coach so he knows a lot of details. The east west of the bag looks so much bigger on YouTube, like so much wider on YouTube, that when I unwrapped the bag and I saw how small that thing was, it packs a punch. You could fit anything in there, but it was so small. Like it didn't have the length that I expected. And I guess because it was a return, the handles were just so wonky and they weren't laying right on my shoulder. The, the strap closest to my shoulder would like, slip off constantly so I was like kept pulling it up and I, I didn't wear it out I was just like trying it on and within 30 seconds it'll just keep falling keep falling I adjusted it to the shortest to like a shorter strap to see if it'll you know stay on my shoulder it didn't look right it didn't have the same silhouette and it was like almost like the bag was small enough to be hidden by my my arm right what I do when I'm not sure of bags because sometimes you know things grow on you when I'm not sure of a bag I just put it back in the dust bag out of sight and then like over a course of a couple of days i'll keep unboxing it or unwrapping it and try and get on again so i'll be wearing something different you know on those days so it'll look different the more i unbagged it and tried it on over a course of like three days i started to love it i started i was like you know this is great i can deal with this i could do this you know what i mean but the straps they were just so bent out of shape. And I was just like, you know, I don't really know if I should keep this bag for $400. So I decided to load my things into the bag. It fit a lot. Like when you look at how small the bag actually is, you almost can't believe that it fits as much as it does. Like it really packs a punch. But the next thing that turned me off about the bag was putting in my essential things that I would need like on a day out. Uh, if I had my kid with me, it showed so many lumps. And I'm not sure, like, if you get the black one or the hunter green, like a darker color, you might have a different experience. But I hated that. Like, for $400, you could see, like, all the lumps and bumps and, like, actually feel it under your arm. You know what I mean? I was like, you know what? I love this color. It was a great neutral pink. I can wear it from here to winter. You know what I mean? Like, it was not a bright, vivid pink or anything like that. It was very neutral tone. It was great. I liked it, it was cute. I was like, you know, I could deal with the smaller look of it than I expected or whatever. But the straps were giving me issues. I was like, okay, if I buy it brand new, when it drops again, I don't have to deal with the strap issue. 
but because it was like, you know, a return odor, you know what I mean? I figured that part of the wear on the bag would end up being the straps being as annoying as they were. Someone had, when I had posted about my issues on the coach group, someone said, you know what? You should adjust the straps to like the longest. I put it on the very last notch and that gave the silhouette that I wanted. But again, it kept falling off my shoulder, kept falling off my shoulder. And I was like, I don't like walking around doing that. The bag isn't heavy, the bag isn't big, but it's the long strap that attracted me to the bag. They put it in this huge bag. When I looked at it, it was like the bag was originally for one of the larger rogues that Coach sells. So the bag was huge. Like if I put it over my head, it'll go down to like my waist or something. That bag was humongous and the bag was this small this small for this big old bag and I was like dude coach studio bag with quilting the uh the dove gray the bag was so tight so I just put my I took the regular size coach bag off my studio and put that one over the um other thing and then I just took the big old bag and used it for like my accessories and my coach studio because it made more sense to me and I was like you know if I put it in the dust bag if I store it in the dust bag you know that can contribute to the straps getting weird. If I keep adjusting it, it'll, if I step on it, like anything, the straps are just gonna get wonky and I'm gonna be super annoyed that I paid $423 for this bag when I can get something way better that doesn't have those issues from the same company, you know? So I just felt like it was super overpriced. Like I felt like $200 tops would have been okay, especially after experiencing the Cassie 19, which is 295 and it has all of that function, all that organization, all those compartments, all of those straps that you can interchange and wear differently. I just didn't understand the price. I was like, dude, this is gonna scratch easily. It doesn't feel like all that durable. The straps are wonky. They keep falling off your arm. You can see all the lumps and bumps once you put your items in there. So yeah, all in all, that is why I returned the Coach Swing Zip. They have since did the re-release for this March. Um, they did it this week, actually, a couple of days ago, and it sold out within minutes and I did not bite. Like, I love the Hunter Green. I would have loved to have the, uh, the Hunter Green in that silhouette, but I didn't bite. Like, I just, I couldn't bring myself to pay that price for the bag, especially when I already knew all the issues that I had with that return bag. It was a letdown for me. And I didn't know if I should post like this video because there's not a whole lot of reviews on the Swing Zip, but I did want to give some information on why I chose to return and why I will not be buying it again. I love the silhouette. I do wish it was longer. In stature I wish it was longer because it like when I would hold it the bag would just be like literally right here on my boob and then like you might see it peek out it was like very small on the east west and the straps like I love the length of the straps I think it gave it just like a whole new look that's what it like attracted me to it but the constant bending like the twisting I don't know how to describe it but the straps being wonky constantly falling off and it just it didn't feel like four hundred dollars like <laughs> $200 tops. Like I've had bags that were like 40, 50 bucks that did not give me those issues. So I just could not, I couldn't do it. So I just wanted to give some information on why I personally returned the Coach Swing Zip. I know it's super beloved. So get it if you, if that's your bag, especially if you see it in person first, but it was a letdown for me. I don't mean to be negative, but I did want to put a video in case you were wondering the actual details of the bag. If you can't see it in person, on why somebody might have returned it or didn't like it. So <laughs> thanks again for watching, super quick video. Um, but yeah, talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye guys.